Since the founding of Shelbyville in 1792, the downtown has been a center of commerce, a meeting place, a place of government, and a gathering place for residents of the city and the county. Whether you were bringing tobacco or other crops to town, looking to purchase a new item for your home, or just hoping to catch in on the latest gossip, going to town was a big event. As the population of the city grew and the downtown area welcomed more and more businesses and residents, downtown Shelbyville thrived with the increased growth. By 1850, the census list showed a wide diversity of merchants and professionals living and working in town. There were saddlers, wagon makers, blacksmiths, carpenters, masons, cabinet and chair makers, tailors, shoemakers, bankers, physicians, lawyers, teachers, and ministers. Schools and churches were built to minister to the educational and religious needs of the community. Of course, the necessary items such as a jail and courthouse were also built to maintain discipline and order in town. During the Civil War, the town was harassed by Confederate raiding parties. As a result, the town trustees ordered a log blockhouse built in front of the courthouse, and every male in town over the age of 18 was enrolled as a police guard and took turns standing watch. It could be said that the growing prosperity of Shelbyville was directly related to agriculture, primarily the raising of burly tobacco. While other crops including wheat, corn and hemp were the mainstays of production, tobacco was the primary cash crop of the late 19th century. Large tobacco warehouses were built to store the tobacco in town until the auctions were held for the sale of the leaf crop. Festivals and parades often accompanied the harvest season for tobacco. A local barbershop quartet called the Burley Tones graced the festivals for many years. Improvements in transportation paralleled the growth of the community. The Shelby Railroad Company built a rail line from Anchorage in 1807, thus joining the town with the main line from the Louisville, Cincinnati, and Lexington Railroad, later called the Louisville and Nashville Railroad. The additional railroad lines to Shelbyville by the Louisville Southern Railroad and the Cumberland and Ohio Railroad brought even greater access to the community. The railroads, combined with the replacement of toll gate roads with county and state roads, allowed produce and products to move to and from town with greater ease and speed. The 20th century brought many things to the country as a whole, including two world wars and the Great Depression. However, Shelbyville weathered these and several natural disasters like the fire of 1909 and the floods of 1937 and 1997. With the new county hospital in 1954 and the nearby interstate system in 1957, also improved utilities, new manufacturing plants, and residential growth in and around town, downtown Shelbyville continues to be the heart of the city and oversees the success and growth of a thriving community. Looking back at our downtown history, the changes over the years have been changes brought about by the progress and prosperity of the people of Shelbyville. Over the years, we've seen numerous businesses come and go, fond memories of the candy stores, movie theaters, and friends that could fill the screen for hours. Downtown Shelbyville has witnessed the growth of our youth, the passing of our elders, and has given rise to state, national, and international events. Like other downtown communities, Shelbyville has experienced many good and bad times over the years. Unlike many other downtowns, however, Shelbyville lives on and has grown into a community of pride and progress.